Hey guys, this is the most requested video I have had so far. I'm finally getting around to doing a tour of my craft room. It's actually just a craft area, part of my bedroom. But um, for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, you've never seen my face, I don't think. So here I am, this is what I look like. Here's Bumble, you've probably seen her, but maybe not full on. So um, let's get started. So as I said before, this is just a part of my bedroom. I use a corner over here and I wanted you guys to see this so that you know that you don't need a whole dedicated room for planning or for crafts. You can still be functional and cute even if it's only a small part of a room, especially if you live somewhere where there's not a lot of space. So I'm going to take you area by area and the first thing I wanted to show you is my sticker area. So I have two recollections carts. I got these from Michaels. And I actually just bought this one last week because this was getting way too crowded for all my stickers. And I will link everything in the description below, so don't worry about that. I have two sections here for, for my sticker books. These are all of the older sticker books, not too old, but you know, anything that's older than the last couple months. And then over here I have all, this section is all the new books. And then this is all my mini, my big and my happy memory keeping books, and then the Joanne Mega sticker book back there. Over here, I have the new accessory books, like the Glam Girl, Daydreamer, stuff like that. And then here I have that, I don't know if you guys watched that video, but I made a tiny, uh, tiny pack sticker book out of half sheets, so that's this. And then I have some of the uh, sticker packs that had the dashboards on them. So I made those into like a little book. So on the second shelves here, on this cart, I have all these accessory packs that have the stickers, the sticky notes, and the card stock. So I have these here. I have a couple of tiny sticker packs that I have not put in that book yet. I have all of my washi tape sticker books from the Happy Planner. I have these, which I hope to do like an organizational video soon on. And then I have some miscellaneous stickers over here that are just separate pages that I had pulled out for whatever reason and also other kinds of stickers that aren't Happy Planner brand. Back here, I have some, actually under here, I have a bunch of stickers that aren't Happy Planner brand like that I got from Hobby Lobby and stuff. I mostly use Happy Planner. These are all my journaling stickers that I have not put into a book yet. I wanna do that. I just store them right back here. On the second shelf on this cart, I have all of my um, sticker rolls, which I always forget to use, so I'm trying to figure out a storage solution for those. And then I have my half sheets. So I have my big half sheets over here and then I have classic half sheets here. Down on the third shelf on each cart, here's where I keep my paper trimmer. I have those um, Avery labels that I use all the time. Somebody actually sent this to me, made these, these like boxes for me because I kept running out of the black colorful boxes. That was really nice of her. And then I have down here, I have letter stickers. Oh, this one actually should be up on this section here. Whoops. And then on this cart, this is all of my filler paper. So I, I actually wanna have a better solution for this, but for right now, this is where it lives. So here's all my classic filler paper. And then underneath is all of my big paper, all different kinds. Over here is where the magic happens, you guys. <laughs> this is my planning station. So this is where I film, obviously. I film with my iPad Pro, and I have this um, mount that I got from Archon.com, and I'll link this, obviously, in the description below. 
And then I have three lights that I use. I have these two softbox lights that I got from Amazon. Also, we'll link those. And then, and this ring light. It's like an 18 inch ring light that I got from Amazon. And then I actually use these two little lights back here just to fill some extra light in the back. I feel like I need a better solution for that, but for right now, that's what is working. There's a weight on this mount because the iPad is kind of heavy, so it kept pushing it down. So that's why that's there. That's annoying too, but I just ordered a new mount from Amazon that Heather Kell recommended, and that will clip on the side of my desk. And I think that's gonna work out really, really well because this takes up a lot of room on my desk. This is where I keep all my colored pens. This is a planter from Ikea. I got three of these in pink. I think they're super cute and really functional. Over here is where I keep my pencils and then any colored pencils that I haven't put back into the tin yet that I just need to take care of. Over here, I have my Happy Planner calendar. I love this. This planter has mild liners and then the Crayola Super Tips, which are great for be beginner brush lettering. And I have these because I am a true beginner at brush lettering and trying to learn. And then over here, this is, well, actually there's some pencils in here. They should be in the other one, but this is full of black pens and some white gel pens, stuff like that, that doesn't fit any of the other containers. Right back here, I just have a bulletin board full of just stuff that is important to me, some lettering that some of the squad did for me and my daughter and other things. Okay, so over in this section, I have a lamp I got from Target a couple years ago. I think this is really cute. These are all the happy planners that I'm currently using. These are the happy planners that I'm not currently using, but I want to keep on hand. And then up here are all of my happy notes. Some of them that I'm using, a lot of them I'm not using currently, but have plans for. This is just, I actually want to get rid of this. It's kind of ugly, but it just holds like some paperwork, some batteries, that kind of stuff. Since I'm working in a really small space, I think it's super important to have vertical storage. So I got these shelves from Ikea. I got four of them. They kind of span the whole wall. I don't remember the name of them, but I will link them in the description below once I find that. And I like these shelves because it's functional. They're functional and also decorative. So I try to do a little bit of both. And I try to include things that make me happy up here. So one of the things that makes me happy is this Choose Happy postcard that you probably recognize because you probably have gotten it from thehappyplanner.com. If you've shopped there before, they send it with their shipments. I framed it in this cute little pink Ikea frame to just add some pink touches in here. This is my Happy Planner storage bag that I do use occasionally if I go out and plan anywhere. Does not happen very often, but once in a while. I put all my extra discs in this jar. This is also from Ikea. In this little basket, I got this basket at Target and in it I have paper scraps and also um, label scraps that I use. So I just put those in there for easy reach. I got these cute little things at Home Goods, I believe. Of course, you probably won't be able to find them now, but I think they're super cute. I think I got that there as well. Up here, um, a little candle from Target. Smells really good. <laughs> this is my Happy Planner Punch, lives up here. And down here we have, this is also obviously from Target. This is just a, one of the bigger baskets. I have all of my smaller Happy Planner stuff, like my stencils, um, some tabs. I have like some pins, other little things like that, like these little inspiration cards. And uh, just a, a bunch of little stuff. I've got stamping stuff here. I have some stamps. I have down here a stamping block and I've got all my sticky notes here. I am trying to figure out a good storage solution for my sticky notes, but for right now, that's where they live. This is a little plant I got at Joann's. And then my daughter made this for me. She painted it and I think that's really cute and it's a good message. Give her a shameless plug. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is uh, my daughter, Kaylee, and her Instagram is study all the pets. She is in vet school and she does 
she has like a study gram and her handwriting is excellent. So in this basket, I just wrapped this in black and white ribbon. I thought it was cute. We have all of my Sharpies and my Copic markers, which I love these things, but I can't use them in my planner because they bleed through. So I only use them on like a drawing pad, but I think they're really pretty and they work really well. Here we have the five principles of Reiki. I wrote that out. I think that those are really super important, good things to remember. Here we have another one of these planters from Ikea. And then I, I got this little fake plant there as well. This is just a miscellaneous basket full of things that I didn't know what else to do with. We have my happy planter box punch. This is the my face from when I went to Happy Planner Boot Camp in California at the headquarters. That was really fun and they gave us these to take home. Uh, I don't know what to do with it. If you have any ideas, let me know. I think I asked you that guys that before. I have my plan a happy life. And here's a couple of pencil things and some extra uh, Tombow correction tape and some extra adhesive, stuff like that. This is just my empty printer cartridges that I have to take to Staples. And then up here we have my old happy planner from last year, the one that's complete. I have this older happy planner that has a whole bunch of like extra pages in it that I use once in a while. And then just some other extra uh, dividers down here and some extra covers. And then up here is a um, scrapbook paper pad that I use. I use these sometimes for um, for my Instagram backdrops, but it was too big to put anywhere, so it just sits up there. Here we have my Prismacolor colored pencils, which I love. And then these are all the, this is all my Skinny Washi that is not Happy Planner brand. This is just like Michael's brand or, or other, uh, like some of them I got on Amazon. I don't use these very often. So over here, I have my printer. I have my Canon selfie, which I hardly ever use. I wanna start using this, maybe do some memory, memory planning. This is an Ikea drawer unit that I got a long time ago. I wish it was white, but it's gray and that's okay with me. It matches my desk chair. And in here, I just keep like miscellaneous office supplies, basically. Over here in these drawers, also like extra office supplies and then some cardstock. Here is my Happy Planner calendar, which lives on my wall over here. I don't really write a whole lot in this, but it's more of like a reference for me. So down here, my paper shredder, I have, this is all of my regular size washi, like the thicker washi tape that's not Happy Planner brand. Again, I don't use these all that much, but once in a while I dig into this. And this is like an art bin that I got from I believe I got this from Hobby Lobby, but um, this has been like super helpful. I had, I used to have it arranged by color. It's kind of still by color, but. Okay, this is a rolling cart, like a rolling file cart that I got from, um, from Amazon. And this is just where I keep all my files. And I think it's been really helpful. I try to color code my files. I know this isn't planner related, but I thought you guys might be wondering what that was. And then I just roll it back when I'm not using it. So I'm a Mac person. I use an iMac for all of my videos and everything. I edit them in iMovie and it's been pretty easy. iMovie really isn't that hard. So if you have a Mac, I would suggest using that for video editing if you're planning to start a YouTube channel. And I'm gonna be doing a whole video on my YouTube setup and how to get started doing planner videos or desktop videos. And I know you guys seem to be really interested in that. So that's coming up. So this whole desk setup is from Ikea. The drawer units and the tabletop are separate. So, and then this is separate as well. So all the, all the pieces are separate. I will link them in the description below. It's been working really well for me. I may end up getting another one of these drawer units soon, but for now it's been great. 
So I can just show you here what I have in this drawer because since I plan right over here, this is all my planner stuff that I reach for on a regular basis. So this is just like a miscellaneous drawer full of like glue, scissors, tape, rulers, stapler, that kind of stuff. This is my Happy Planner washi drawer. I know I showed you my other washi, but this is all my Happy Bl Happy Planner brand. I keep it separate because when I do projects for the Happy Planner, they want us to use only Happy Planner brand. That doesn't mean I have to do that all the time, certainly, but when I do, like when they share my projects on their Instagram, those projects have to only be Happy Planner brand. So that's why I keep it separate. Back here is my Doodlebug Design washi tape, which you know I love. So I love this little drawer. I think it's super cute and I love reaching in there for washi tape. Here's some extra washi that I had that did not fit in that drawer. And then over here we have envelopes and dashboards and things like that. Back here, we have the little micro notes that I got in my latest Happy Planner shipment. A bunch of those back there. In this drawer is all of my mini stuff, my mini half sheets and my mini note paper and mini accessory packs. And then down here in the last drawer is, actually this is my, these are my mini accessory packs. But down here in the last drawer is all of like the accessory packs and the plan, the um, extension packs and stuff like that. Bumble just came in from outside and guess what? She's muddy again. She's been digging in the yard. <laughs> you guys, if you watch my channel, you know that she regularly digs. She's a digger, she's a digger. So after this, she's gonna get a bath, but I have to hold her for now. I'm sure you don't mind. <laughs> so this is a magnet board I got from Ikea. Uh, I just thought it was cute. It was white and pretty. This, if you guys have watched my videos, you know that's my vision board for the year. I have my one little word for the year there. And then this is something that my daughter made for me that brightens my day. So I put that up there. Down here we have, uh, I got this acrylic organizer from Amazon. Actually, Kimberly Lauren Crafts on YouTube, she recommended this two people and I was gonna use it for my sticker rolls but then I bought the wrong one and the sticker rolls don't fit up here so I'm just using it for just the little things that I might reach for like my my Tombow mono adhesive, my correction tape eraser, this is some, just some little cutouts I had made and then, and then some little bookmarks. I also forgot to mention that uh, I have my Be Happy bag here. This is from the Be Happy box that was put out last summer and a couple of pins on there. I probably want to put more pins. I have a whole bunch more pins. I might put them on my bag. I don't know. And then I just also wanted to mention where I got my chair because I know I've had people ask me that before. I did get it at a site called furniturdazzle.com, but that site is no longer in business. So sorry, you're not gonna be able to get the chair, but I do like it. So one more thing I just wanted to mention, when I started planning last year, January of 2018, I didn't have a dedicated planning space. I did not have, all I had really was one cart full of stickers, not even that many stickers, and I was planning at my kitchen table. And while that worked out fine, um, once I created this little space in my bedroom, like it just makes me happy to be here and to work here. And it really wasn't that expensive since I got most of the stuff at Ikea. Um, so yeah, it makes me happy and I'm glad to have it. And I'm also very fortunate to be on the Happy Planner squad and um, obviously I have a lot of product that they have sent me and I'm just super grateful for that and it's been a really cool year. So thanks for watching and I hope that you guys got some inspiration from this and that maybe it gave you some ideas for your own little craft spaces. That's it and um, thanks a lot. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.